Well, hello there. Um, it's InsideTracks.co.uk again. Um, uh, thanks to those of you who have subscribed and are watching this. Uh, please like it if you do like it. Uh, those of you who haven't subscribed, um, just perhaps you hit the subscribe button um, and uh, like if you do. Uh, or leave a comment um, and uh, that might well help me just to improve uh, if I'm uh, talking a load of old baloney and you think, think that. Um, so look, uh, I'm going to talk about something that um, is quite important and um, that I sort of believe quite heavily in and, and it, it is um, the only rule um, you need to follow um, to have any chance at trading successfully. So. You say, well, okay, uh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, there's only one rule. Um, of course, there's lots more um, of things to do um, in, in being able to trade successfully, but um, there's one thing that will help um, all the others more than anything else. And that is that you need to um, have uh, the ability to turn around and turn down um, your uh, urge to trade on every race. Um, now, there is an urge to trade on every race because you get a feeling for uh, trading and some days you'll want to trade on every race because you've just got that market completely right. Um, and I wouldn't stop you doing that, but resist the urge um, to trade on every race. Um, if it's not really, if you're not having a good day for a start, stop. So that's, that's the number one uh, rule about uh, being um, disciplined and, 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 and making sure that you don't uh, bet on every race is, is to turn around and say, okay, today's a bad day, I'm going to stop. I'm just gonna stop because otherwise I'll keep losing and I'll lose bigger and bigger. And there's always tomorrow. But the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that it's easy when you uh, see something and you think, well, I can make some money on that. And then um, for one reason or other, it doesn't happen and you think you've missed out. In fact, uh, missing an opportunity or, or not taking an opportunity, uh, you wind up actually in the same place you were before. So uh, the, the, the very important rule is um, uh, don't follow your urge um, uh, to, to trade on every race. Now, the, the one rule therefore is uh, trade when you are at your best um, and you'll only ever trade at your best if you have a system that you follow that you understand and that you know what you're doing so for instance uh, let's just take one system that I know a lot of people follow and that is they look for favorites that are around about even money or odds on that start to drift um, at the five minute bell, the, just before the off, uh, you see these uh, uh, sort of four to six shots that um, start to, yeah, they're, they're fairly static, they're well backed on either side uh, before the sort of 10 minutes before the race, and then um, they're heavily backed, um, uh, or have a lots of money coming in for them, and uh, their price goes from say 1.86, to 2.69. I know a lot of people uh, look for those horses. So what they do in the morning, they look at the the, the, the race uh, race cards from from the different uh, meetings, and they look for those races likely to th throw up a, an odds on shot. And then and only then do they get involved in trading. And they don't get involved in trading those odds on shots if at the 10 minute um, uh, before the race starts, they see that favorite begin to drift fairly radically. And um, my uh, approach to, uh, to actually laying odds on favorites is if their price goes out by more than 33%, more than one third, then um, I will get involved in laying that horse. And there's two reasons I do it. Um, the first is, is that uh, the big professional money is saying there is something not quite right with this horse. It may well, from its form, look like a, an odds on shot, but um, actually it's not going to perform that well. Or we know something else is going to come and out the blue and uh, uh, give this horse a very good race. So uh, there's pre number one, there's professional money telling you that, that this horse has a less good chance than, than an, uh, an odds on shots chance. 
And the second is, is that any horse that starts to drift quite radically in the last 10 minutes before trading often will drift in the race, even if in the race um, there's nothing wrong with it. it. It drops in behind the leader. It's doing very well. It's, it's, it's actually uh, 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 performing quite well. It will still continue to drift. Um, it's just a, a human nature. Uh, you, you've seen it drift before the race. You, you go into the race. Um, it doesn't go five lengths out in front. And, and as a result, um, you think, oh, there is something wrong with it. And the in boy player, the in running players, um, they uh, start to uh, lay it in running. So in that situation, uh, there's, a, there's a strategy. There's a clear strategy which says, um, I am going to go in the morning, look at the, the uh, race cards, look for the odds on shots, um, and then uh, I will go to each race 10 minutes before the, the off and look for those that are going to um, drift by more than uh, 33%, and then I will get involved in laying them, and I will take my money out, um, it's probably in running, say, giving me, myself a 33, 50% return. The alternative is, is, is um, and you'll see in the newsletter, we give, we give false favorites. So that, that's, that's one of the ways to spot a favorite that's too short. We give um, back to lays as well. And back to lays is exactly the same deal. You want a horse that where you've got a strategy, you, you say, yeah, this horse is gonna get out in front and it's gonna shorten in, in, in running. So I'm going to back that horse before the off and then take uh, a percentage of my stake um, out uh, with a lay bet um, uh, in running. So, uh, so there's, there's, there's strategies that you will use and you'll say, this is what I'm gonna do, and you set yourself up for those races, and then you do those races and you're disciplined, you, you sit and you do those races. Now that's, that's easy to say, uh, not so easy to do. Um, I've got another one for you, by the way. So that, that, that's two strategies. Um, this, this one I, I hope you'll quite like because um, it is something that you can get involved in quite quickly and I think will give you a return on your money very simply. And I might do a, 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 a whole video about it um, uh, separately, but I'll, I'll give you a taste now. And that is um, one of the strategies I use is to look at a tipster from App Races, a guy called Hugh Taylor. And I look at his uh, tips in the morning, and then um, I wait for him. Well, I, I wait for his tips to come out. He's on Twitter, um, and I then uh, do something particularly, and I'll show you what I do. So watch this. This is a typical chart that I've taken from a, a, a Hugh Taylor tipped horse. Now, what I'm trying to show you is actually, I, I, in fact, I'm being a bit naughty here because what I'm saying is, uh, in this part of the chart here. Um, these bets here add up to about a thousand pounds, and those that thousand pounds, as you can see, two hundred and fifty here. So that's two hundred and fifty, two hundred and fifty, two hundred, and then a, a few hundreds down here. So that's about a thousand pounds worth. And someone, um, I'm mentioning no names, uh, bets about a thousand pounds at prices between twelve or so, yeah, here, and a seven and a half, which is about about here. So th in that category here. So it's about a thousand pounds worth has come on, and then uh, lo and behold, um, uh, we see uh, the uh, Hugh Taylor um, uh, tip comes in, uh, which is just around about here. So that's where his tip comes in. So he's put put this out on Twitter at, a, at approximately this point here, and uh, then a whole load of his flunkies come in and put on uh, uh, money. So it drives the price down still further from about seven and a half down to about six. And then um, actually the price uh, starts recovering and, and over the time uh, the money comes in and the price goes back out to 11. So uh, not surprisingly, what I do um, is I'm one of these uh, layers here. I'll, I'll, that, that'll be some of my money there, um, uh, laying uh, the, the, the horse at about six because there's no way that a horse starts out at 12 and a half, dives um, in, a, in a very short period of time um, uh, as a result of being tipped and, and isn't going to then, then drift in some way. Uh, and uh, what I'm trying to say is that the person who puts on his, his money here at an average price between these two, about nine and a half, will then lay the horse in here 
around about six, six and a half. And um, as such, they have a thousand pounds with a three point difference. So they have three, three, three points worth of a thousand pounds, which is 3,000 pounds of the horse wins. And if they lay off a bit more at say six, then um, that three hundred that three thousand pounds would turn out to be six hundred pounds actually in the hand, where they don't have to do anything. So, so that's that's um, uh, the important thing you need to do is uh, when you actually get into uh, trading regularly, you must decide what is your strategy what is what are you good at is it is it going to be scalping is it going to be um uh, back to laying is it going to be uh laying uh, favorites um that drift what is your strategy going to be you must then uh have a routine you go through which is uh, for instance on a back to lay i've given uh, i've got videos on how to choose a back to lay horse and and you're welcome to go and have a look at that um, but basically, I go in the morning, I look for, for the pace angle on the race, and then uh, I'm looking for the horse that will get out in front um, and will shorten in running, uh, but even if it doesn't win. And um, I'll take my, my three or five point uh, profit, and that normally is enough to, to double my money or, or certainly give me 50% of my money. And that's, I give tips out in the morning as a result of, of my research. So you can look at those on the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter at insidetracks.co.uk and you'll get um, a back to lay. You'll get a false favorite. You'll get a, a nap of the day. Um, and you'll also get a place value uh, horse. So, so have a strategy. Decide what you're going to do. Um, in this situation, uh, my strategy is to wait till Q Taylor um, sends his tweet out. I go to then uh, uh, at the races. I, I almost immediately after it's published at the races, I'll go into a uh, bet fair and um, you know, I'll look to be laying the horse when I see it coming to the, the bottom. Uh, you know, in other words, as it starts to go back up, I will be in there laying it in this sort of, in this sort of area. So with this particular horse, I was laying at around about six, six and a half. And, and it went out to what, uh, nearly, nearly 11. So um, I, I made, I made decent money on that, on that horse before, it, before the running even happened. So um, I, I pity the people who are in here, which is uh, just after uh, Hugh Taylor sends out his, his, his tip, because whoever was in this bit here uh, lost one and a half points. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I made, uh, what, three, four, nearly four points, four and a half points. So, so that's, that's the sort of thing. Have your strategy, uh, focus on it. Do not alter from it. Do not take uh, uh, every opportunity to, to bet um, and uh, keep that discipline. Um, and, uh, you know, if you see an opportunity, if you're having a great day, don't let me stop you doing it. Because, you know, when you're on a roll, actually that can work really well. But my advice is choose your races, understand why you're doing each, each of your bets, Stick to your strategy, follow your strategy through, and um, and you'll generally uh, therefore have much more chance because you you become good at it, have much more chance of making money. So uh, that's really the only uh, uh, one rule I would I would suggest. Um, as I said, uh, if you do like um, these videos, then please subscribe and, and like. Um, uh, if you've got a comment about what I've just said, uh, please put it down and I'll, I'll respond to it and, and uh, take it into account in any future videos. Uh, go to insidetracks.co.uk, um, sign up for the newsletter and you'll get all the tips every day, um, which are researched. I've done all the hard work for you so, uh, so, you, so you can make some money. Um, uh, they're generally quite successful. Um, uh, if you want uh, to look back at the... Uh, the, the um, YouTube site, um, I probably will do a, a, a bit more uh, in detail on uh, Hugh Taylor and, and what, where I have looked and seen. Um, and I'll show you, you know, maybe a half a dozen horses where, where you know, I followed the, the betting. And it, it is remarkably uh, similar, all, all, of the, all of the horses that he's, he's, he's uh, tipped. So that might be useful to you as well. Anyway, uh, best of luck and uh, let, me know how you, let me know how you get on. Cheers then. Bye-bye.